It was a pattern and uh, God will decide who was more to blame than the next person. But there's an alliance of the imperialist countries with the Zionist settler state and the reactionary Arab rulers against the Palestinian people. Now, one by one, I pray, these reactionary tyrants in the Arab world will fall and will be replaced by people's governments, like the one I'm certain is going to emerge in Egypt. And that will change everything. Everything is about to change across that region. And I think that uh, we should say hallelujah to that. You're living in London, as am I. We're British citizens. Our country authored the Palestinian tragedy. We wrote it when on behalf of one people, we promised a second people the land which belonged to a third people without consulting any of the three people involved. That was a crime unique even by imperial standards because Britain didn't even possess Palestine as an imperial possession on the day that it gave it away to somebody else. We have been supporting this Zionist settler state from that day of the Balfour Declaration until now. And we're shaping up to join President Obama, the new patron of the Zionist settler state, to deny even this meager, paltry, palliative compromise, 23% of Palestine, which President Abbas is asking for at the UN. They can't even give them the crumbs off the table of the rich and powerful. Israeli officials have confirmed to Al Jazeera that the country's prime minister wants to hold direct negotiations with the Palestinians in New York. But Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says he's still moving forward with plans to ask the UN to back a statehood bid. But I don't know the question but I certainly know the answer. They have no interest whatsoever in one state, two states, five states, Bantu stands. It's all just sand being thrown in the eyes, decade after decade after decade. It's almost 20 years since they signed the Oslo Agreement on the White House lawn and agreed to a peace process, not one centimeter of which they have actually delivered. On the contrary, the land they promised in Oslo to vacate, they have constantly reinforced with deeper and wider and more populous settlements until there is virtually nothing left to give back to the Palestinian people on which they have not already planted their settlers. They, in the words of an old uh, friend of, uh, of uh, mine, who used to be the Palestinian representative in London, want a peace process which is an endless process that never delivers any peace. And if we haven't worked that out yet, then we're really not paying attention. Thanks for the call. Let's stay in London. Talk to Z Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for joining us.